We never really grow out of our love for playing in the dirt. Even multi-million dollar superstars like to play in it every once in a while. In NASCAR, that love may have moved from the diamonds to the ovals, but a growing number of the sport's top stars are returning to their local dirt tracks to get down and dirty. A lot of the guys that are running now didn't grow up on it, and uh, they started out on the pavement. When Matt came here for one of the first preludes to the dream, uh, he just fell in love with running dirt. I mean, and it's not just Kenseth. Nearly two dozen Nextel Cup drivers showed up at Tony Stewart's annual fundraising race, held at the Ohio track Stewart himself owns. Even closer to home, a fundraising race at the Cleveland Speedway brought out two more Nextel Cup drivers. We've got them to go do it a couple times, and now they're thrilled with it. And they, they bought some of their own cars and stuff. And uh, it, it's just so much different than what we do every week. Which is exactly what Schrader says hooks so many drivers. No money, no pressure, just racing. The number one reason all the cup drivers want to run these dirt tracks is it's just plain fun. There's so much stress. There's so much tense activity every week in the Cup Series that it's really fun to come race and actually have fun while you're racing. Fun is not the, never the problem. Uh, it's just things get so more complicated when you add zeros. You know, when you're racing for $500,000, you can have a lot more fun than when you're racing for $5 million. And when you run the dirt car for $5,000, you can have more fun than when you're racing for $500,000.